Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Phantom, showing you how to ripple fire the Maverick. I've included a few hints and tips to resolve common problems. As always, control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Ensure your weapon selector is on TV. From a cold start, this will begin the Maverick warm-up process. This will take three minutes. Turn on your pylons with Mavericks on them. Master arm on. Delivery mode to direct. And set the display mode to TV. Optionally, you can turn on the flight director to aid with navigation towards the target waypoint. Set the gun sight to air to ground mode. Reticle to 42 mils. Now the gun sight will align with the Maverick's bore sight position. Pull the gun trigger to turn on the video feed from the Maverick. We can check the bore sighting by comparing with the terrain. Pull the gun trigger to toggle field of view. You can pull it again to toggle back, but be sure to select your field of view before you try to get a lock. Pulling the trigger with the Maverick in a fluid state will unlock your target and re-cage the Maverick. It's important to properly stabilise your run-in. This will give you plenty of time to spot your target and fire multiple Mavericks at long range. Aim to be in a shallow dive towards the target from at least 10 miles out. I'm flying the aircraft now, mostly looking at the video feed. I've come off the throttle a bit and I'm just trying to trim in that dive. Once I'm happy with it, autopilot goes on. This holds the dive steady and lets me concentrate on slewing the Maverick. You can use the brightness and contrast controls to try and get a better view of the target. Work the throttle to control your vertical speed and prevent the target from drifting up or down too much. Press and hold the ARR button and slew the crosshair over the target. Release the ARR button to get a lock. Press and hold the bomb button to fire. Ready the next Maverick by quickly pulling the gun trigger. Set field of view and repeat the process. Lock. Rifle. Gun trigger. Gun trigger for field of view. Note the small cross showing the relative slew of the Maverick. This helps us to maintain situational awareness. As I overfly the target, I'm having to slew each Maverick a little further than the last. I'm closer now so I don't need to zoom with this final shot. There's the lock. Rifle. The Mavericks are fire and forget, so I'm free to bug out at this point. But let's fly in and see the damage anyway. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Huge thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found this useful, please share it and subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite models.